Hi, yeah, Martin here. Thank you for joining me for Turner's Journey episode 75. I hope you're all well and you've had some really creative weeks and uh, weekends in your workshops uh, recently. I'm really sorry I haven't been around um, for best part of a month or, uh, or six weeks. I just haven't had time to get sorted out and, uh, and uh, record Turner's Journey. The last time um, I did Turner's Journey was uh, back in back in April. So yeah, I'm I'm very behind on uh, keeping you up to date with what's been going on. So I am very very sorry that I haven't been around. But that doesn't mean I've been slacking. Oh no, um, a lot has been going on as always. You should know that by now. There's always a huge amount of stuff going on in and around the workshop. Um, but let me start by saying Yandles. Yes, Yandles was um, Yandles, the open, um, the open day um, Yandles show. I was, I was down there for a couple of days uh, demonstrating Hampshire Sheen and the new intrinsic colours. I had a really, really great time. It was great to, uh, great to meet some customers and stuff and uh, make some more and press palms with people who, uh, who follow me on YouTube and Facebook and stuff. So if you came along that weekend and uh, said hi, hello, yeah, thank you for popping by and uh, stopping for a chat. And I need to say a big thank you to, to Paul and Leisure for giving me a hand out on, uh, on the stand. I really needed it. So thank you guys, I really appreciate it. Um, after that, um, came back and I had to get the, the New Hampshire Sheen headquarters sorted out. I'll take you out there um, in a bit just to show you what's what's been going on in there but I'm really pleased with it. I've done a load of teaching as well which has been which has been really great. I've loved teaching and passing on some of my knowledge and uh, hopefully encouraging a few more people to take up take up turning. And a couple of weeks ago yeah, a couple of weeks ago I had um, an open day or an, an open weekend. We had a long weekend here in the UK um, for the early Maybank holiday and it was brilliant to see, I think it was about 15 odd people that dropped in over the weekend, did some turning, watched a couple of demonstrations and stuff that I did and um, it was good. It was really good. It was a nice chilled out, chilled out weekend and it's really great to have, you know, some people milling around the workshop and using the lathes and stuff that are here. Now on the Monday of that uh, weekend, I turned this. Uh, Monday was kind of the quietest day, and I was playing with this piece, which is a, um, a sculptural ash um, piece. Let me show it to you. It's uh, it's about fourteen by eleven, I think, and um, I'm calling it Ad Centrum Terre or Terra, which means uh, centre of the earth, because it uh, kind of reminds me of the centre of the earth. It's all a bit swirly a bit fiery and stuff and that was magic to turn and then on the back um oh look there there you are um on the back is a is a plaque that says um, exactly what it is and stuff and i'm doing that with all of my bigger more expensive pieces now putting a plaque on the back and this is on um an oak base which has been really heavily scorched uh, then sealed and then with a couple of uh, couple of coats of lacquer over the top. So that's um, Ad Centrum Terra. And also the last video I put up was this one, um, which is an Elm Burr um, off centerpiece, which I'm calling Elm Medallion. And that's got, um, that's got its plaque on the back as well. They only arrived a couple of days ago. Um, but I'm really pleased with, uh, with how they've come out. And oh boy, yeah, it's been. Oh, I, the, my car's broken down as well. Um, oh, I had to take a week off over Easter as well. My kids came to stay for a week, which was magic. It was really nice actually to have a week off and just to virtually completely step away from uh, the workshop for a bit of time off. And we had a really lovely time together. And um, yeah, the, so the car's broken down this week. The computer, my main PC where I do my editing. Um, just had a total meltdown about three weeks ago and it's taken me ages to find um, a computer and think about the spec that I want and stuff for the editing and the, the other bits and bobs that I do um, for the workshop. So all in all, it's been an expensive few weeks. Um, but hey-ho, 
onwards and upwards and I'm really looking forward to going to Kansas in June or Kansas City sorry in June for the AAW symposium there really looking forward to that um, but for now let's go and take a peek outside at the um, Hampshire Sheen headquarters just before I get out there though um, where all the Hampshire Sheen stock used to be up against this wall um, it's now gone it's all over in the over in the new HQ I've put up um, a five foot photography background uh, here, which is kind of lit from above with a fluorescent tube. And I can also bring in some other smaller lights um, to uh, illuminate, illuminate the work and stuff. Um, it's just on a fairly, fairly flimsy polyester, um, polyester roll, but it's great. I love the color. Um, it's nice and dark. It doesn't detract from the piece at all. And uh, this is a piece of Rubinia. Um, the guys in America know this as Black Locust, um, but over here it's known as Rubinia, primarily. Um, and this is a piece I turned, um, oh, about a month and a half ago, uh, I think. It's actually, it's really quite big. It, <laughs> it was good fun. It was going around like a propeller. Um, so yeah, the, back, the background here is big enough so I don't have to crunch around trying to find suitable angles. I've got plenty of space to move the piece around and uh, do whatever I want to it. So yeah, and that just rolls up, and then I, then it's a then it's a workbench normally. And here is the Hampshire Sheen headquarters. I haven't shown it to you before because I it was in a dreadful state, but now I'm kind of up and running. Um, in here, um, it's all good. But over over on this side, we have all of the um, Hampshire Sheen stock and the waxes that are going out. Um, through the website orders and also out to the retailers. Loads of packing boxes and stuff and tapes, you know, all, all that stuff. And then right over here, whoops, <coughs> fall over my packing material. Um, and over here we have the intrinsic colour range um, and more packing boxes. And I can't tell you how good it is to actually be in here to have, you know, enough space to move around freely, you know, that... Uh, that kind of thing. And then if I turn the camera around this way, this is the manufacturing bench. So I blend and cook all of the waxes here and then it's tinned, labeled, moved over there. Um, and then at this end is the, the, uh, the color mixing desk, as it were. And uh, I've got loads of these little color bottles for the sample packs and stuff, um, ready to get boxed up and put out, um, put out onto the thingies, ready for uh, ready for orders. So yeah, it's all it's all good. It's all come together. And then underneath, I've got all of the supplies and stuff that I need for uh, for making it all. So it's all. It's all good. So that's it for this week, folks. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I've got a couple of really cool videos um, lined up for the next few weeks. Um, now everything's kind of back on a uh, back on an even keel after various disasters like the computer and stuff like that. Um, I've actually got some more time to video, so I'll be recording next week. I've got a couple of a uh, couple of uh, really cool projects lined up, um, including stuff like how I see wood and how I make a film, uh, probably a video on the photography of pieces, that, that kind of thing as well. Uh, so all things I hope you guys are going to find interesting and informative and hopefully a little bit inspirational too. So thank you very much indeed for watching this week. I look forward to seeing you again soon for another video. But for now, have a great weekend. Bye for now.